because we have seen a search and um, the rapes, the gang rapes, the sexual carnal knowledge on our young girls. And we have seen a surge, and that is all is happening like sometimes two and three times a month. We have seen that. Domestic violence has increased by a staggering 61 percent this year as compared to last year, with more instances of gang rapes and girls being sexually abused behind closed doors. Due to this concerning revelation, the Gender Affairs Unit, in collaboration with the non government organization Women in Development, officially launched an anti violence campaign against women and girls in the Turks and Caicos Islands during a press conference at the Social Development's office yesterday. Five and a half years ago, the Turks and Caicos Islands joined the OECS in a project to modernize and harmonize our family laws. Four pieces of model legislation resulted from the project. One, child care and adoption. Two, child justice. Three, children's status. And four, domestic violence. Their plan to combat this increasing epidemic is to launch a domestic violence task force that will be headed by social activist police sergeant Irene Butterfield, along with the implementation of a sex offenders act. Two of the, of the four models will be tabled um, very shortly and I hope by September to have had all of them done with or without a constitution. Honorable Delancey said that these laws have not yet been instituted because they have to be fine-tuned to fit the dynamics of the Turks and Caicos Islands. In order to accomplish this, a subcommittee was formed consisting of persons from the Attorney General's Chambers, Social Development Department, Gender Affairs, the Education Sector, Police Officers, the Pastors Fraternity, and other NGOs to conduct a final review of the legislation. The Defense Against the Person Act has also been read in the House of Assembly and will move on to the committee stage on Wednesday, June 3rd. This motion seeks to implement more stricter penalties for convicted rapists and child abusers. We are also working with the school system and, and families and others in the community to abolish corporal punishment, you know, because we are mandated to observe the Convention on the Rights of the Child. And so one of the clause in the rights of the child is to abolish corporal punishment. Fulford admitted that the department has seen a gradual surge in child abuse cases through their foster care program, from last year's estimated 40 cases. As a result, the department called for the urgent implementation of their child abuse on-call telephone service. We have a lot of activities that are set out for this month. Um, we, ha um, we will have defense classes for women um, that will be taking place during the, um, the first two weeks in June. And then on the 15th of June, which is the Queen's birthday ho um, holiday, we will be having a march that's going to be starting from the downtown ballpark. And we will be marching to a Q-town. For WIV4 News, I'm Nikara John.